Hello everyone, Amber Green Gengar here. Welcome, Green Gengar here. Sorry. <laughs> Welcome back to another Splatoon Weapon Spotlight video. In this episode, we are in this week, we are going to be playing with ends at 85. You guys already got a sneak peek of that because <laughs> of my little, my pathetic idea of April Fool's joke yesterday. <laughs> I didn't really put much thought into it though. I just kind of scrambled and did that. But it's alright. So, yeah, we're going to be playing the limit 9. Hopefully, the audio won't freeze up like last time. I will be redoing Spire Scope. I'm going to keep the video up, though, because there still was some fantastic gameplay. Maybe even put some post commentary on it at some point in time. Because it was really good. And that was a really good gameplay. Oh, and so let me go through the set of it. Okay, let's. Okay, let's go through the build I'm using. This is also, I'm not too experienced with this weapon, but I do like this weapon. So, one thing about the 85 and the 89, there's such a difference between a weapon that's insane. As you can see, this weapon has exactly the same range as a 52 gal and text to text glider shot. Who is texting me? And I accidentally clicked lobby again. It's got the exact same range as the 52 gal and text tech, and it's in that exact range tier. Except it has the highest fire rate and the lowest damage. And a lot of people like, and this is all personal preference, so I've experimented with damage up and seen how much it helps. And I've been working on that a lot last night. And I honestly have come to the conclusion that you really, I don't think damage up is essential for this set. Unless you play are playing tower control. And that is what I think. And then we and we got the bombs and the locator, and that allows this weapon to be a bit more offensive, which is very surprising actually. That we don't, and, and because we're playing more offensive, I do have a lot of quick respawn. I've got four subs. We've got some swim speed subs. We've got cold blooded because so we don't get well hacked. We can well hack others, which is really helpful with the splat bombs ink recovery. And most of a teeny weeny bit of run speed, but that actually does make a slight difference. So yeah, that's a set. And the funny thing is, I think you're better off with damage up when you're using the 89 because you're playing more defensive and supportive with, with that weapon. So it actually is a little more important to kill there. And you still play very supportive with this weapon. It just this weapon opens up the opportunity to be um, aggressive with the weapon. And I, that's why I prefer the 85. I don't know why people do actually prefer the 89. That's always been a mystery to me. Okay, but now that we've done, now that we've been talking, let's go. We are playing Port Macro Mahi Mahi Resort, apparently. So let's get into this. Also, you won't believe it, but I'm actually going on another vacation. Okay, gee. I'm actually going on another vacation today, which is surprising. We are going to Mexico for spring break because it is my channel's my family spring break is this week so we're in mexico i'm gonna once again i've been trying to do that day don't count on it though wasn't able to do last in dc but that's because dc the schedule creeped up much quicker than i thought and i had no time but i'll be working very hard i have a friend ryan he is coming over while well, ryan is awesome so we're gonna be making videos and hopefully those will be hilarious We've been making a ton of videos, even some Xbox videos, which I really don't do on this channel. Like this channel, I and I know I've mentioned this, it is not strictly Nintendo content. Like, it's not. This channel is just gaming content in general. So that's what I was saying. And then like like if I did Xbox in the past. I there is Xbox game you want to do. I considered doing Minecraft. Um, I considered doing Call of Duty. I did do Call of Duty for a while, but it wasn't getting much exposure. So I dropped it for a bit. So, but yeah, me and Ryan can play Xbox games. It's not a strictly Nintendo channel. I feel like, even though it, mostly Nintendo channel, I think that's what's most successful. Okay. Okay. Okay, so we've got a pretty corner. Now would be a good time to activate my echo. I'm just looking. Boom, wall hacks. Take care of the others.
Okay, we need to approach this right. This is really defensive right now. Ah, oh, dang it. I fell right for that. The problem with this, like I said, the damage output, that's why if you get in those tight corners, it can be a bit more helpful to have it on the aider, especially since you don't have any other form of offense. And this is just from me experimenting. Nice, got two of them. Okay, I got three of them, that's sweet. I usually don't I usually don't just charge in like that, but I think that really helped out my team. In the last I've also I've experimented with so many different builds. Especially since I have never ever really really played this weapon before. Ah oh. Okay, I'll give you that. That was good. You're a good roller. But yeah, I haven't really experimented with a lot of builds. Well, I have, and, but even then, and that is only to make up for my inexperience with the weapon as of now. Ugh, got the charger. Got splatted by 52. It's alright. Yeah, as you can tell, I played very aggressive. But at the same time, I am covering turf. This map is this is really good on big maps because it has such a good fire rate that I can tell her curves so quickly. Oh, that roller that roller's finding me a lot. Yeah, we did really great that first match actually, which I'm very proud of. So yeah. Also, we keep on having uploading issues. I'm actually the Mario video Mario Maker video is currently uploading. I recorded the first episode of that that'll come out before this comes out today. We I already I recorded that last night, but it was like being way too slow, and eventually I had to stop it so I didn't lose too much space while the other stuff was recording. So yeah, well, it's not that random. So and let's go to another lobby then and see how well we can do. I don't know how many matches. I just want to get like at the very minimum thirty minutes. Uh, for these weapon spotlight videos, because they're a they're weekly videos, so why not? Also, some of you also might have noticed that I did a new banner recently, and I've actually made it like I what I wanted to do for my banner. I wanted it to show like all the let's plays I'm currently doing. Like I wanted it to have that somewhere. So I just decided to go ahead and see what I can do and experiment with a couple things. I actually was able to make one and I'm actually pretty proud of it. It's not better than the ones um, that Nintendo Graphics makes, so I'll give it that. But I still am very proud of it, especially because I did make it all on my own. So yeah, and that was also how you guys, because the time we recording this, the Super Mario Maker video is not out yet. So that's how you guys already know that it's coming. But I'm also really excited for this series. Because then as I, I actually explained that in the Mario Maker episode, I picked I pick, I didn't I got the game for free actually from my friend who won a giveaway, but already had the game. So that was pretty cool. Okay, we we're able to scare off the tower. I got him. Okay. Okay, so looking around, so far we've got really good turf control. Oh, shoot. Okay, thank you. I see that cracking up there. I see that you have just fallen. Is it the blaster? No, that is the blaster. Okay, fine. Trade it with him. Okay, so far so good. But yeah, as I was saying, and that first episode was actually pretty exciting. We take on a pretty interesting level, to say the least. I rage. Nothing's more frustrating. I do rage a teeny bit, but we play two awesome online levels, which is pretty cool. 
Um, and one of them was like a puzzle, and I've never seen it before. It was like a puzzle level, and I was just like, this is so cool. You can make things like this. This game is awesome. So yeah, that first episode, you'll see that before this. But if you haven't seen it yet and you're watching this, because I know Splatoon is probably the most popular content on this channel as of today, go watch that episode. Oh, shoot. Well, this is quite a tricky situation we're in. Oh, I got sniped. Okay, so yeah, this is a good example of the phrase, only the last minute of turf work actually matters. Because trust me, it doesn't matter how much control you're in or how much you're dominating, it can always easily go the other way. Like... Why would L3 Nozlos push so much if you didn't have a Kraken? That was totally my fault. I was being stupid. Okay, I think our teammates are in the base, so let's just cover turf as much as possible. I don't know. I think we lost. Yeah, but that was totally my fault. Like, it is, I am taking full responsibility for getting splatted there. I should have been smarter and known. Like, especially since I do actually really love to play the L3. Why L3s are not weapons you push with? And L3 will not, and I say not, push that much if they don't have a Kraken or there's something up their sleeves. Like that's what the L3 not supposed to be is such a good weapon. And it's the best kit the L3 could possibly have. Like that's what that's what people want for weapons like the Bamboozler. Like the, the for example, the Sheldon's Pit Pix weapons, which are coming, those so many people are speculating. And there's been some really interesting things that have been leaked. Like, we already know that we're getting a splatter shot that's got um, a burst bomb, I mean, a splat bomb and an ink strike, which is going to be interesting. I'm excited for that one for splat zones. And then we're getting, like, a, what's it? We're getting a slosher that, actually, let me check that page real quick now. Let me check that page. Let me check that page. Yeah, but Sheldon's picks, if they, Splatoon is not that really some new weapons, this is what I'm saying for the most part. So I'm going to look up Sheldon's picks leaks, because I know I found a red page, and it was so fascinating, because you guys should know. And But there's so many cool combinations. Okay, looking it up, I'll show you guys in between the next match, I will talk about it. But yeah, it's so fascinating. I'm so hyped. I don't know when they're coming out. I know there's going to be two seasons, so there's going to be a lot of new weapons. And they're also getting reskinned, like fully recolored, which is also pretty cool. Okay, so let's, but yeah, like the 85 at least, I think I prefer this one for Turf Wars, because you can play more aggressive and offensive, but you can, it's also amazing for covering Turf. So it plays both roles really well. Oh, I want to kill that guy so bad right now. You don't play aggressive as a splatter scope and get away with it. That probably wouldn't go wide. Is this bro for real? Okay, that's fine. Okay, works out. Thanks, teammates. You guys did most of it. <laughs> I was more of there for extra insurance. Okay, also, we should probably... <gasps> Udo! Oh, dang it! I was saying, we should probably... I should probably take cover, because his charge will be back any second, but he came from an unexpected angle. Those are not bad chargers. Those chargers know what they're doing. And I respect Splash so they know what they're doing. You have my honor. Oh no! Right now I'm just trying to like cover all this turn. Okay, 
close to my hand. Oh no, oh no, oh no. Okay, Blaster put in some pressure on that guy. Uh oh, no! Uh oh, okay. Okay, fine enough, fine enough. Can't reach me. Get bomb range, get good. Oh shoot! Ah! Dang it, team! You guys were doing well in the first match, and now you've totally just let them invade us. This is what the supportive draw is for. Let's see, I'm like, I need to get this turret control quickly. I'm dead. Ugh! Yeah, that was awful. Ugh! That was so awful! Like, I don't know what happened. Like, it's so easy to make comebacks in Turf Wars. All it takes is, like, three people dying, as my teammates did. And they were cornering me. Okay, but in between matches, let's check out this Sheldon's picks. What the heck? Why am I not on Google? No wonder it's not showing anything. I don't give a crap about ask.com. Ask! I didn't... Ask! Ask! Oh, jeez. Whew! Okay. Okay, yeah. Okay, Sheldon's picks. Leagues Reddit. So yeah, that's what we're doing now. I want to talk about that. Here it is. Okay, so through the next match, we'll talk about this. Okay, pop-ups. Okay, so yeah. So let's see what we got. We have the Wasabi Spider Shot. That has a splat on an ink stripe. That is so cool. Got the Berry Splatter Shot Poet Suction from Bomb Rush. That's not that great. I'm not looking too forward to that. That's just a longer range splash o -matic that does more damage. We've got the Fresh Squiffer. Oh my god. And the only ones I haven't I've really, like, confirmed is the Berry Splatter Shot Pro. I mean, the Wasabi Splatter Shot Pro and the Squiffer. So Squiffer is getting suction bomb and crack, and that's going to be amazing, right? I wish, this, like, if the Squiffer got, like, splash walls and crack, and that would be so good. But still, Squiffer's getting cracking. Or if it got bombs. I was a big user of Squiffer in the early days of Splatoon. Like, before I hit level 20, I would use a Squiffer a ton. We've got the Slosher Muscat, which has a sprinkler and echo hair. That's very fascinating. That is very fascinating, actually. I am excited for that. That would be pretty cool. And, okay, so, uh, well, well, our teammate's pretty inactive by the looks of things. Okay, so now that's the slosh. I'm trying to look at the computer screen and play a game at the same time, which is no bueno. Okay. Oh crap, think That was the worst bomb throw I've ever seen in my life. That'll be helpful enough. Oh, get out of there. Okay, teammate, you will not say with me. I'll, I'll run. Okay, I did get him. Oh, yep, I should have known. Okay, so yeah, let's look at some more. Uh, we've got the Bamboozer 14 Mark Three with Sprinkler and Exuka? You idiots. Oh, that is going to be amazing. I actually, Bam Loser's weapon that's really difficult to get good with. It's, well, I shouldn't say difficult to get good with, it's difficult to use. Let's see if I can stealth here. Successful stealthing accomplished. Yeah. Thought well enough. Okay, so Ink Brush Modern. <gasps> Okay, my life is complete. The ink brush 
Sorry, buddy. You learned how the spawn works. So we've got ink brush with burst bombs. I can already tell that weapon's gonna get so made up. I can tell if they ever do another bad weapon. That's all I'm saying. If they ever do a bad weapon tournament, that weapon is gonna be at the top of the list. And ink brush with burst bombs. I don't even know what I should I say about that. Also, I need to be careful. Oh, I'm dead. Yes, I am. Wow, we are getting annihilated. Yeah, don't do that, my friend. Maybe it was okay that I died there. Oh, he had any charge it, so... Oh, never mind. He's got my damage up. Okay, let me keep on reading these off. So we got the potato... We've got the potato splash automatic with the splat bomb and bubbler. That is actually going to be fascinating. I wonder, I'm, I'm curious to see how that weapon's going to end up being played out. <gasps> my, my heart just fell out of my chest when I saw that roller. Okay, so splat bomb and bubbler, that'd be interesting. It'd be nice to have a splat on that and have a get out of jail free card. And we got the rapid blast with burst bombs and strike. <gasps> no way! Oh, rapid blast with burst bombs. This is gonna be fantastic. I this can bring some awesome things. Okay, now we've got Sheldon's Fix Volume Two now, and this is obviously um the second set of weapons to be released. We got the Seal Splat Charger, with, and this is pretty much the point where it's like on like this. Take this with a grain of salt, because this could be very much false. These are leaks. We got the single splat charger with splash wall and ink strike. The splat charger. That sounds as a as an aggressive splat charger player. That sounds way too good to be true. I don't know if I believe that, but still, that would be awesome. Honey splat roller with disruptor and ink zuko. Oh, that's gonna be so broken. That is going to be so broken. Oh my gosh, that's OP. They can't do that. What if a weapon like that was out there in a test fire? Oh, crap. That is so broken. Okay, Soda Pop Blaster, Secret Echo Locator. Yeah, we've already got, I think we only got that kit once with the Slosher, with the tri slosher Deco. So, yeah. It'd be pretty decent to see on the Blaster, though. H3 Nozano's Nitro, Squid Beacon, Dragon. At least they gave him the crack, and at least it's possible to get kills with the H3 now. Cherry's dual squelcher. And by the way, I love squelchers. I'm probably, I'm main squelchers. So let's see what this gets. Disruptor and bubbler. My life is complete. My life is flipping complete. That's awesome. Oh my god, you know how OP disruptors is on long range weapons? There is no flipping escape. And you and then they're trying to get away from your bubble, or you can just throw the shark and be like, nope. Oh, that's broken. And it's a weapon that can actually utilize bubblers because it has the range to do so. That I'm gonna definitely be using that weapon so much. I'm gonna put in so many hours into that weapon. I'm also probably gonna do a live stream when they come out of me using all of them. And Zappo 7, Splash Wall and Inksuka. That will be also incredibly fascinating. And however, I'm well actually, you know what? I take that back. And if the 50, oh, we're gonna lie, we're gonna lie out. Yep, yeah, we're gonna lie out. If the 52 can use splash roll effectively, I do not see where the end zap can. They have the same range. The carbon roller on late, squid beacon bubbler. Hmm. I think the squid beacons will be good because I can, for me, because I can finally, finally, finally make use of that damage up hat that has the three quick jump subs really, really effectively. So I actually do like the squid beacon sub. Bubbler, I think it would be better off with Kraken, though, in my opinion. But that might be just me, especially since you don't have the burst bombs anymore. And then finally, last but not least, we got the Tomato Sash, not Splash Sash, oh, what? The Tomato Sploosh, oh, Matic, but Secrets and Bomb Rush. Yeah, I don't know. Everyone, like, I don't know. Everyone thought the Carbon Roller deck was the greatest thing ever to happen to Splatoon when it came out. I'm not going to lie, I played it, I enjoyed it, but... I still think the normal is better. And I don't know if that's gonna be the case, but I still think the normal carbon mode is way better. That the secret bombers is absolutely nothing for you in terms of offense. 
Like, I don't know. Seekers are already, like, Seekers are probably my least favorite sub weapon, believe it or not. I guess, I, and I still, okay, we're getting a lot of disconnects. Wow, is this going to happen every match? That's not going to be good. But yeah, I think, I think the old was better. Everyone got way too happy about the Deku because it was a brand new kit, I think. And I don't think, and especially with the weapon with the blue, she's not going to help it much in long range, as opposed to getting something like, Splat bombs or Inksuka. It's not gonna seekers are not net didn't help the carbon roller as much and did not help the sploosh as much. Cause I think everyone was so hyped about the deco because it was a brand new kit and it was a unique kit. Like that's incredibly unique. Like the only kills I ever got with seekers. Like the only kills you like can get with seekers that are easy is when you activate the farm rush. But it still is cool. It's the, probably one of the best ways to put pressure in Splatoon. And then now they got a disconnect. And right at the start, oh, that's rough. Let's hope I don't. Let's hope I don't disconnect. But if I do, hey, it'll be fair again for the other team. Because honestly, I don't care who wins once I disconnect. I could care less about the people playing with me right now. Watch me say that and they end up sucking, sucking really, really bad and lose. That would be pretty unfortunate, actually. <laughs> okay. Okay. Wow. Ha 10 out of 10. MLG bomb throw. I have to keep in mind I only have three players, so I'm not so skeptical about activating my hand though. Oh, thank you, Echo. See if I can predict him jumping. That was a terrible idea. <laughs> you just got bought. I actually am happy I left that area. Okay. Disrupted my jump and that caused me to fall. And I'm gonna jump to this teammate and then run to the side because someone is getting in our base. Yep, you noticed it too, buddy. Bro, you got to be jaws. Yeah, don't mess with me. And zap their power. You hear me? Enzaps are flipping power. Their fire rate makes, and their fire rate makes up, like, you'd be surprised by how much their fire rate makes up for the lack of damage. I think it's funny. Yeah, don't pick on my friend. He tried very hard for that Kraken. Sorry, buddy, I got range. Man, if I was a sploosh, you wouldn't have gotten away with it. Or you would have gotten away with it. Okay, let's draw some attention to the Inksuka, though. And the guy that is coming over there. Haha. -ha. Oh, crap. Okay, let's distance a bit. Oh, gosh. Nice teamwork! That was sick! Oh my gosh, this is a good match for me. I don't think I died once. Or did I even, or did I just jump back to base? I don't remember. I think, yeah, I think I died once. That was a great match. Great evasive maneuvers, you're gonna need that. However, at the same time, I, you, I prefer run strafing as opposed to speed strafing or swim strafing, only because of the, the very small damage output. If you're only hitting like two shots in one second, then your damage with that damage output, then the enemy is definitely going to kill you first, and there is no reason why they wouldn't. Also, the Mario Maker video has finished uploading, and it's now on the YouTube phase, which is sweet. So, I don't know when you guys, I'm recording this at about 10 in the morning. I don't know when you guys will see this video, but you should see Mario Maker video around 10.30 or so. So, yeah. And actually, they're changing stage. I actually think we might end it off there, though. I actually think we might. Hold on to your Okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry.
sorry. <sighs> Let's see what the state of our Yeah, I think the other rotation is better for this weapon. So, on that note, we are definitely going to end off the episode here. And see you all on the next one. Stay fresh! I'm sorry. <laughs>